All right, Tobo Trail, smoke on the water back. Uh, down here in, uh, I guess, uh, Gramercy, Louisiana. Doing a little work in the fleet. We got the river closed today. Somebody had an accident. Got this stupid humidor open. Sorry about that. All right, it's my little cigar.com. Little free sampler humidor that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. It's ugly. And what's crazy is it's got some really good brands on it, and then it's got some stuff that, you know, I would never smoke, ever. And I'm, I'm not going to say what that, what that which is which, but, I mean, I'm sure just scanning this slow, if you picked out a couple of things that, that are, are really good, and a couple of things that I wouldn't even try to choke down, even if I was completely out of cigars. Yeah, there's, some, there's a couple of pretty nasty ones, and I thought that was kind of funny that, you know, they, they mixed them up in the way that they did. But, oh well. Anyway, check this out. This is the other part of the uh, little combo I told you I had in the first video with the uh, Man of War Ruinations. Also come with uh, five My Fathers. You know, if you're going to get in My Father in a combo, it's going to be a Robusto. You know that. I like Robustos, but... When I smoke a cigar, I like to smoke a cigar. I like to spend about an hour and a half, you know, sometimes two on a, you know, a, a cigar. So, Robustos, I, I usually don't pick them up too much, but to be honest, some of the best ones I've ever had as far as flavor have been Robustos. It's a really good size, but, uh, oh, well, I digress. Uh, there's a, an, an Anejo I picked up, uh, you know, I'm sure. Everyone out there in cigar work land is familiar with a Fuente Anejo, Reserva Extra Viejo Anejo. It's all special age. They only come out a few times a year, and definitely one of the best cigars Fuente makes. These things just taste great. These are just excellent smokes. Everyone I've ever had has burn problems, but they're worth it. Don't worry about it. I think the burn problems come because they they age them. I know I'm going to get a Oh, well, yeah, let me show you the price here. 11 bucks, not bad. That's a big one, too, so, you know, not a bad price. Not marked up too crazy or nothing. But uh, the, the wrapper is, is aged in a barrel, a uh, cognac barrel or wine barrel or something. So, you know, don't murder me, YouTube. I'm not a professional cigar reviewer, but I just like to smoke them a lot. And I forgot what, what it's aged in, but it is aged in a, a liquor barrel of some sort. And I don't know if that contributes to the burn issues that it has. But it's not terrible and doesn't really affect the enjoyment. You may have to hit it with a relight every now and then. It may just go. I've had every one I've ever had, I have to say, it's just automatically, mysteriously went out. I mean, from burning great to cold, stone dead. Puff as much as you want. You're not getting nothing out of that thing. And, but, you know, you relight it and it goes right on. Anyway, got that, Daddy. I got this Don Pepin Blue that I was pretty excited about because I've been wanting to try it. You can see, if you're familiar with this cigar, the label's a lot brighter than that. This one has been sitting for a long time. Eight seventy-five, and it's a it's a really big one. Also got this at the Tobacco Barn in Paducah. The the Cello's yellowed. He's had these sitting around for a good long while. All right, I got some Oliva Series V's. Uh, here is a Opus X Forbidden X. Law, excuse me, Opus X Lost City. That a friend of mine gave me. Never had a Lost City, so you know I'm trying to let that one, trying to let that one marinate for a little while for us, so I can give it a do it its justice. Now you may think you know what these are, but I bet you don't, unless you're just a real cigar nerd. Let you take a guess. Terrible cameraman, sorry. Okay, obviously a Florida Dominicana Airbender. Okay. Look at the wrapper. Could it be? Yes, this is the special edition Maduro. Uh, the guy at the cigar shop said one of his customers just absolutely had to have uh, the uh, the humidor, the special edition humidor that looks like a little tobacco barn. And uh, so he ordered it for him, and he got the cigars and he was selling them. So I bought I bought two of these bad boys. And uh, they're supposed to be really good. The reviews I've seen are really good. And they're supposed to be coming out with a regular production of the Maduro Airbender because it, it, it got so popular. But 
that's two of the originals, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is the uh, the Macanudo uh, vintage Macanudo vintage Maduro vintage 1997. I haven't tried one of those yet. A buddy of mine gave me that as well. La Gloria Series R. Cubano Intensa, Intensa. This is another freebie from Tobacco Barn. This guy hooked me up. He really did. He told me, don't let this humidify too much. He said, smoke it where it's kind of dry. It's a it's a cigar from Holland, and it's traditionally smoked drier. So I'm going to smoke it pretty soon before it gets humidified too much in my little Yumi here. But, uh, you know, he said that uh, these are these are pretty cool. So he said it's, he said it's actually very old, too. So All right, so kind of excited to try that little thing, little jewel up. And, uh, that's that for that little humidor. And I'll just uh, have to show my new humidor I got at the house. I got the big giant glass top, 500 count. Awesome, Big Daddy. Last time I was home, so I'll have to show you that. I got two boxes of these. This is your, uh, you know, AJ Fernandez, uh, Reposado 96s. These are $100 a box f for 40 so this is a this is a bargain cigar, craft cigar rated these diamonds in the rough. This is the Habano, and they're Solomon, so they're big. You know, I've had these before. I split a box with a buddy of mine, and you have to let these things age because they can be a little rough at first. But if you give them a, a month, you know, or two or three, if you can, these uh these will really these really shine for the price. I mean, they're a big cigar, a long smoke. The construction is excellent on them. I've had very few burn problems, very few ones that have tried to come unraveled or anything like that. They don't have labels. They're not fancy. You know, they're fancy looking, but they don't have labels. And here is the uh, Maduro. So I got me, you know, I got me a couple boxes to stock up. These are going to be my boat smokes. You know. And these Maduros, uh, these are also rated diamonds in the rough. And I uh, also recommended that you let these mellow because you know they may be just a touch young which would you know explain the price and last but definitely not least this is awesome and i looked on stinky's website can't find this thing anywhere don't know if you can even get it anywhere it was a freebie for uh, ordering over 300 dollars worth of cigars baby if you're watching that's french for 150 sorry <laughs> uh it's called the uh, Stinky Junior. I should have polished it up first, but it's look at that thing. It's a uh, it's tiny. You know, if anybody's familiar with the regular Stinkies, they're big, but it's a uh, you know it's stainless. It's got the whole Stinky uh, insignia there. You know, StinkyCigar.com, the whole thing. You know, and like the other Stinkies, it's made in India. It's all stainless steel. Uh, you know, it's nothing uh, fancy. There's, they're plain and simple, which is what makes stinky cigar ashtrays so nice. You know, you sh it's a little bitty one that fits on the dash in my boat real good, and it hold a whole cigar's worth of ashes without me having to uh, get up and dump it three times like the little double-ended black ones do. You know, you got to get up and dump those things. But anyway, that's my stinky junior. I was pretty excited about that. I think it's it's awesome. I just got to figure out where to buy another one because I wanted to buy one for my house, but uh. I can't find it because, you know, it's no one else in my house smokes cigars, so, you know, uh, I don't smoke inside much. I wanted a small one, and I could sit over to the side. It'll look nice, you know. And I, I guess I'll have to go and spend uh, more money at Cigar International. Aw. Anyway, uh, this is Tobo Trail. Smoke on the water.